What is going on guys, it's Waffa here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off we found a bunch more secret notes over here. As you can see we have seven of them in our inventory. Found two of them earlier on in the uh, like the last couple episodes or something like that. Where are those at? Oh jeez, I'm all over the place. <laughs> but uh, yeah, see we already have two of them right here. One of them was a treasure map. The other one was like some crazy thing where we had to go to the uh, the spooky woods or whatever. What was that actually called? People were like making fun of our ego. The secret woods. <laughs> I'm probably just going to be gone at the spooky woods all, all the time, not even realizing it. But either way, we went over there. We had some crazy talking bear over there that wanted some maple syrup. We gave it to him, and what he did in return was made it where salmon berries and blackberries can be sold for three times as much gold, which is really good. I don't know how he did that, but he did. Uh, we also had a couple of heart events for pennies, so we finally caught up on all those. And we had some good luck and bad luck over in the mines trying to find ghosts, uh, but more than made up with that with all the extra heckin' loot that we got over here. As you see, we got some really good loot we got a uh, a new ring actually where's that at? there it is right there the glow ring so it's, it's going to be emitting a constant light we got rid of the other small magnet ring because we already have one right there uh but that's going to be lighting up the area especially in the mines and at night so i don't have to worry about like torches or anything like that anymore so that's going to be really good you guys actually said i could uh, sell that in the uh, adventurers guild alongside other like random tools and whatever else right so uh, i think this is did i did i pass out last night no I don't think, yeah, okay, I didn't. Sorry about what happened at my place yesterday. My mom can get into bad moods sometimes. Please just forget about what happened. Yeah, we already talked about this at the end of the last episode. Don't need to bring up negativity. Do stuff like that. Just, 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 I guess just put it in the past. Leave it in the past. And let's just move on with our lives here, you guys. Who knows? Maybe Pam's going to become our heckin' mother-in-law here in the future. I don't know. <laughs> That's going to be kind of crazy. But either way, let me just water all these crops real quick. And that is going to be it for them right there. Uh, they are starting to grow in, you can see right there. So maybe here, uh, maybe later on, later on this episode, we'll actually harvest them all up. And then we'll make some more sprinklers uh, and then actually plan that out. I did also get some comments from you guys last episode saying, yeah, don't don't worry about making iridium sprinklers. Getting iridium bars, getting iridium ore is going to be pretty tough, uh, especially this early on in the game. So uh, you guys did say, yeah, just make regular quality sprinklers with gold, gold bar, iron bar and refined quartz. All of which we should be able to get. We can get gold like right now in the mines. Uh, and I don't know how much. Uh, yeah, we have 16 gold. So we can get three ingots right there. So that's good. And then that should be three sprinklers. And then we have iron there. And then we have. Yeah, we have plenty of refined quartz. Don't need to worry about that. And the battery pack. You guys were saying, yeah, it, iridium's rare and all. But the batteries, that, that's going to be the real rare thing that you need to watch out for. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I think I mentioned at the end of the last episode, I'm thinking about moving the TV. I might end up doing that like right now. That'd be pretty good. But let's check the fortune teller and we have new okay neutral luck uh actually i don't know if that's good or bad because remember we're going to the mines to try and kill a ghost but it seems like we have better luck you know finding enemies and whatnot when we have bad luck because you know bad luck makes it harder and whatnot it spawns in more enemies i believe right so i don't know i guess it's not as good as it was yesterday where we killed so many heckin mobs anyways weather report what's it going to be tomorrow it's going to be beautiful and sunny again okay cool so let's just pick up there y'all pick up the tv and i guess we'll move it over here yeah, you know what, Leon, let's put it, like, right here. Even though it kind of makes sense to put it, I, I don't know if we could actually, like, 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 rotate the TV or whatever. Okay, I guess I have to place it down. How do I... There we go. Oh, yeah, I think I got comments of you guys saying, whoops. So I could right-click the... Yeah, I could... <laughs> I could change what type of drum it is by right-clicking on it. And I guess other, like, drum things like hi-hats and cymbals and whatever else. Uh... I... I don't know which one I like. Maybe like a, maybe like a tom or something like that. I don't know what that is. I'll keep that. As long as it's not too intrusive. That that sounds about as inintrusive as you can get with that heckin' thing. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, I think the torch actually is what is in the in the way right there, which we don't need anymore. Remember? Oh, what in the world? Oh, aren't I able to just right click torches or? No, I think I'm thinking about uh, Terraria right there. I don't know. Either way. So we can get out of bed. We can immediately check the uh, the calendar right there. Which, by the way, I don't think there's yeah, there's not going to be any events for this episode. And then our next episode, at the beginning of next episode, is going to be Caroline's birthday. So let's not forget about that. And then later on next episode is going to be the Festival of Ice. So that's something to look forward to. Unfortunately, missed out on Lion's birthday yesterday. You guys did say he hangs out in the spa during the uh, the winter time. So I wouldn't have thought about that, right? Uh, let's go place down the other this thing. I don't know. I, I guess we'll put it like right here. I'm like, I don't need these torches anymore, right? Get rid of the torch. What am I doing? There you go. Golly. <laughs> and let's place it down like 
there you go. Cool. All right. Well, I guess we'll get on out of here and then we'll figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the day. I, I suppose I like we, we definitely want to go get more progress with that. Uh, and by the way, yeah, I forgot what are we I, I think we got that from the museum or something like that. Last episode, we got another rare crow, too. I forgot to mention that, too. But uh, let's sell the clam. Yeah, we can sell that. Cave carrot, I'll, I'll keep that for right now. Crocus and all that kind of stuff, I'll keep that for right now. But oak resin, I believe that's something we... Yeah, we needed that for the keg, wasn't it? I think so. There we go, yeah, just put up a bunch of stuff right there, nice. Uh, then, yeah, we have a frozen geode. And, yeah, we got another recycling machine. I got. I think we got that from Demetrius's, uh... What was it called? His, his, his bundle, so... I suppose we can come over here to this chest. Find some actual literal trash we can throw into there. Broken CDs, what was good? I guess that. Oh yeah, then small magnet. I guess we'll get grab that and then we'll go to the Adventurers Guild and then just kind of hang out in the mines a little bit here. Uh, decorative bowl there, trash, actual literal trash, and broken glasses and stuff. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just get the CDs because aren't we able to get refined quartz or whatever out of that? I think so. so that's pretty good. And then uh, oh yeah, you know what? <laughs> I do have these secret notes over here. I suppose we could open up, uh, start opening these up slowly over time, right? I hit something behind the community center. Ooh, okay, let's go check on that. Then I guess because that seems relatively easy, I guess we'll check up on one more secret note. I found some good things by looking in garbage cans on lucky days. Sometimes you'll find the dish of the day behind the saloon, usually fresh. For dessert, I'll check the Molner's can for cookies. For treasures, check the cans by the blacksmith and museum. Okay, so that's kind of a little bit of a guide right there saying, okay, go to these locations. I believe they a dish of the dish of the day. We've gotten that from the saloon because I, I, I do believe that is true. The Molners, I think that's George and Evelyn and Alex, right? Because uh, I remember getting cookies from them very often. And then, of course, getting treasures from the Blacksmith and Museum. I'm like, I, I see them. I feel like I check the trash cans pretty regularly when we go over there. So that's pretty helpful there. So it seems like they're not all going to be like little, 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 little like missions or whatever here. So that's kind of interesting. It's Sam's holiday shopping list. Everyone's favorites. Sebastian Frozen Tears. OK, look at this. So it just basically just boom. It's it, the game is straight up telling me, OK, these are. A bunch of favorite items for all these people It's not everyone. It's just a few people. And then me, I guess that's Sam himself. He likes cactus, maple bar, pizza, dad, which would be who is Sam's dad? Oh, man, I can't remember. I could probably check by just looking at the map and seeing who lives in what houses. Right. Then mom, uh, crispy bass, Vincent, grape, cranberry, uh, and then Penny loves emeralds. Ooh, do we have any extra emerald? I don't know. And then, yeah, Poppy, we already knew about that. I think we've given her all of our poppies so far. Frozen tier. We already knew about that. But sashimi, we don't have that. I think we have the recipe for that, but we don't actually have that, unfortunately. Start going through these over here, too. Greetings. Wa oh, jeez. He knew. He knew I was going to find this. <laughs> Greetings, Waffle. Have you found my secret in the dark tunnel? I look forward to meeting you. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So I guess if I didn't get comments saying, okay, go to that tunnel with that battery or whatever that would happen like 20 episodes ago or whatever, this is how we would have figured that out. So I guess we kind of did that a little bit early there. Uh, so the, the mysterious key guy or qui, whatever his name is, <laughs> we actually, uh, that, that's how you get that legitimately, I suppose, huh? It's a page from Abigail's diary. Ooh, I don't know if I should be reading this, honestly, <laughs> but I guess we'll read it anyways. Things I love. The smell of carved pumpkin. Keeping an amethyst under my pillow. Chocolate cake. The thrill of spicy eel. And the comfort of mom's blackberry cobbler I like to eat. Yeah, I could, I could tell him just by that. You have a lot of foods under your uh, list of favorite things. So, once again, the Alex's, or who, who, who was that? Who was that? Sam's, like, shopping list or whatever? That gave us a big list of, of people's favorite things right there. And then, boom, just random thing from Abigail's diary. We know her favorite things here, too. We already knew about the amethyst, though. A carved pumpkin? I don't know how to get a carved pumpkin. I, I assume she likes regular pumpkins too, but maybe you can actually make a carved pumpkin from the, uh, the, 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 the whatever her name is, Queen of Sauce. Maybe she'll teach you or so. I don't know. Uh, but a bunch of other stuff there as well. Let's go through the other secret. Whoa, 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 whoa. what is this? What is this? Oh, man. Well, I, I can pull that up over here. Whose house? Oh, man, which one was that? Wait, what in the world is this? Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, the, the bear, yeah. Secret note from okay, I could just hover over the oh yeah, look at that. I only have to open up. Boom. Sam's holiday shopping list, blah blah blah. So what was Yeah, this one right here. What is that? That doesn't make it any bigger. Whose house is that? I think I, that that actually does look familiar. I know where that is. I could find it on the map here in just a minute, but you you go to the house, you go left, go up, go right, go up, go right, go down, go left, go down, go left, go down, and then you're done. What happens there? What do you do? 
I don't know. I kind of want to go to that house and just kind of do some weird myth busting. But uh, don't we have what? Yeah, we have one more secret note. Uh, Alex's strength training diet, complete breakfast, salmon dinner. I've learned to love this food. I can feel the pro. OK, yeah, boom. Once uh, once again, another favor. I, I guess that's what all these secret notes are going to be, right? Just basically telling you, OK, this person likes this. This person like that. Uh, that's what like half of them have been so far, like just a list of people's favorite things. Yeah, boom. And now we know Alex is like uh, he, he loves, I guess, a complete breakfast. I, I guess that's like a whole entire platter you can make later on. And then salmon dinner. He likes that as well. So that's going to be really cool. The only actual mission here, where was that? Something about going, yeah, right there. Hit something behind the community center. I guess we go over there and go check about that. And then while we're out and about, we could actually, oh yeah, before I do that, before I forget, let's go check about the chickens. So let's, let's go feed them, go get their eggs, go get their mayonnaise, all the kind of stuff. Pet them too, so then just show that they, we love them. Uh, so there you go, I think we pet everyone there, so that's good. Get all the mayonnaise as well as any, yep. I knew there was going to be an egg blocking that, and there's another egg right there, got it, cool. And let's get these eggs back into here. And I believe we got, okay, just one gold star mayonnaise right there. Can't complain about that, I suppose. And let's grab the hay, let's get four of that. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to make this any easier so I don't have to manually feed these guys or whatever over here, but uh, maybe you could do that a little bit later. Maybe there's like an auto feeder machine we could craft here in the future. We'll have to like manually get four hay every time there, right? But let's go check on the other uh, mushrooms over here as well. Whoops, uh, there you go. And then, yeah, I, I guess maybe later in the day, just because I can't really think there's no events, there's no birthdays, there's nothing else going on. The only main thing I want to do now is just go back to the mines and get more progress done trying to find that uh, a ghost that drops, what's it called? Ectoplasm. Yeah, that's going to be kind of crazy there. Then bring Willie a squid. We might. Oh, yeah, you know what? We could probably because we have higher. Uh, what, is our, what is our fishing rating at? No, 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 it's not fishing six yet. I thought it was, but maybe we should go fishing a little bit more. Just to get, uh, oh yeah, look at that pine tar down there too. Oh yeah, 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 let's get a keg. I forgot about that. I almost forgot to get a heckin' keg. Man, look at all this, look at all this trash. I'm gonna cut down these little saplings right here. Boom, get this trash out of here. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of like wood, hardwood, all that kind of stuff, you guys did comment last episode. Yeah, don't, you saying do not get the wood chipper or whatever uh, to saying to actually just save the hardwood because you do need hardwood for like, like, like a house upgrade. Uh, other things like a, a upgrade chicken coop or like a barn or something like that. You guys are saying to save the hardwood for that instead of, you know, breaking it down to actual wood, right? So I suppose we'll do that. But let's see. What else do we need alongside the oak resin to get the keg? There it is right there. Iron bar, copper bar, and then 30 wood. Okay, so we have like 12 wood in our inventory. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. We got lucky right there. Both of those were refined quartz. Amazing. Uh, let's get broken glasses. Go put those in there next. Yeah, see, this is really good when we have two of them. We can start uh, recycling that stuff super quickly, you guys. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. More pine tar right there. I guess we'll put that up. Whoop. Then we'll get, what was it, 30 wood? So, holding down the button right now. This isn't me individually clicking right there. <laughs> but uh, one copper, one iron, I believe. There you go. And do we actually have... Okay, yeah, I was about to say, do we actually have any copper? Do I have to start smelting it? Well, I guess if anything, we can start smelting some of that gold. Boom! Keg! Okay, you know what? We got it. Awesome. Place a fruit or vegetable in here, and eventually it'll turn into a beverage. Okay. So, I assume if we put... Well, obviously, hops going to give us like some sort of a beer, right? But can I just literally can I put like blackberry inside of there and get some sort of blackberry drink or something? I don't know. So it, it, it kind of reminds me of the uh, what's it called? Where is that at? I could probably find it here. Like, yeah, the preserves jar. You can put any yeah fruit or vegetables uh, and that turns into pickles or jam. Yeah. Number crafted three. OK, that's pretty cool. It tells us that number crafted one right there. Yeah, we could definitely make another one right now. Do I want to make another one? I kind of feel like we I'm like, it makes sense. We have two oak resin. I don't know if we need, yeah, we, oh wait, yo, we do need oak resin for the community center, ooh. But where in the community center? Is it like a, a thing that's like almost done? If so, I'll definitely go take it over there. If not, then I'll probably wait. I'll probably make it into a keg first, honestly. Well, yeah, that's just money right there. Yeah, you guys were saying, oh, did I, I think I already mentioned this, didn't I? Someone said not to worry about like finishing the vault too early or whatever, saying the to get like a barn first. I think that was like two episodes. I think I mentioned that before, didn't I? Yeah, that's not it right there, fodder, but oh yeah. Should definitely think. Oh, yeah, the Enchanter's bundle. Yeah, yeah, we could probably we could probably do that a little bit later because we have nothing over there yet. Why? Ooh, we could probably make wine in a keg. I think we have extra grapes, don't we? Right, and uh, apple foot and then pomegranate. I guess we could try that out. Yeah, let's make another keg. Was it another thirty wood? Yeah, you know what? Just grab all that and then put back ten. That'll be yeah, it's a little bit easier that way. Then get the iron, get the copper, and then just craft it. Boom, we have a second keg. And then we put, what is it? Hops in one. And I think we have grapes. I still have to check if we have uh, still have grapes. Uh, so there's the hops. 
I do not see any. Oh, wait, it'd probably be in forging because it's. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. So we have grape there. We have hops there. Let's try this out, you guys. Uh, so where are we actually going to put? I guess we'll put it up over here. Uh, on the side of our house, we just have a bunch of stuff. So, uh, preserves jar and kegs and whatever else. So there you go. Let's put. Boom. Oh, wait, can you not use. Wait, how does this work? Oh! Okay, it worked on that one, but, uh... Hold on, get out of the way, dog. <laughs> oh, I just pet him right there. Okay, there you go, okay. So those are both working right there, but... Oh, yeah, 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 I remember last episode we did get uh, pickled pumpkins. So let's get more pumpkins. I believe we have more of them here. We have, like, ten... Yeah, so we have six of them. Boom, there's three. Uh, and then you know what? Yeah. Now that we actually have this one done, we should probably put them all, like, together. Like, next to each other, right? So, uh... Whoops. I probably... Oh, man. I can't, like... I don't know, maybe I'll put them, like, right here. <laughs> I probably should have thought the, thought about this before placing down the kegs and whatever else, but, uh, place down the pumpkins here. At least they're all, like, right next to each other, so there you go, cool. And I guess we'll get the gold smelt now here as well. I don't know how long gold takes to smelt, but I do know iron took forever to smelt, so, uh, I can only assume it's gonna take super duper long as well, so, uh, let's just grab all that except for one, uh, grab three coal, and then, uh, put up the refined quartz, and let's get more, uh, trash to put inside there. So we did broken CD that... Do we have any other actual trash? I don't think so. You guys did say, yeah, I could use a warp totem farm to come back to the base immediately. I don't know if I'll, I might keep that as like an emergency situation thing, but I don't want to rely on it. You know, I don't, I don't want to be like, oh man, I could stay out because I have a heckin' thing in my inventory. And I think it's a one-time uh, thing as well, like a one-time use. So don't want to waste that. Start smelting the gold. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. And because I'm going to be going out, let's get some random stuff that I'm probably not going to use and uh, probably try and sell to the Adventurer's Guild. So. Yeah, crystal dagger scythe. Uh, save that lead rod. Uh, sell that. Trap bobber. Keep that for right now. Spinner. Yeah, keep, yeah. We're going to, have to worry about that a little bit later. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else. Uh, so that should be good. So we need to go to the museum to drop off the dwarf scroll too, and frozen geode as well. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Let's go to frozen geode. Let's go do that first. And then I guess we'll come back home and we'll have a bunch of stuff done, you guys. It's going to be crazy good. Also want to watch out. See if we can actually find any more worms, any more forging items, or anything like that. Because I did get comments from you guys saying dwarf item number four, which I think is the one that we're missing. The last dwarf, uh, not dwarf, dwarf item, dwarf scroll four. Uh, where would that be? Cooking, achievements, minerals, artifact, yeah. So we have all three of them right here, and then we have the fourth one right there. You guys say that one I have to get by hoeing the ground, so uh, hopefully we can actually find it in the ground that way. So that's going to be really cool, you guys. And then uh, let's go down here. And, oh yeah, I think you guys said something about, like, what if we have the dwarf scroll done, we could, like, read gravestones or something like that? I don't know, I might be mixing up comments or something like that. But we do have, a uh, neutral luck today, so it wouldn't hurt to check through some trash cans a little bit, right? I think the black, doesn't the blacksmith close at four? So I think we have a little bit of time. Not three, but I think it's at four, right? There's a thing right there. Uh, yep, boom, there you go. So let's see, let's go through this trash, too, so we can find it. Oh, whoa! Never mind, we actually, we found actual trash? <laughs> Let's give him a uh, thing. Process geode. We have a frozen geode. Hopefully it's a fire thing. No, it's a man. I have two of those now. I have two ghost crystals. Golly. All right. Let's go donate that other uh, rod or whatever. Actually, yeah. Didn't we? Didn't you guys say uh, Penny likes artifacts? So you know what? Uh, it's for me. Thanks. Okay. Never mind. I, I guess she doesn't like them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, let's go over here. Let's go donate. Oh, man, we have three books. I don't know. We did a lot of reading last episode two episodes And that's three books right there. I might skip them. Maybe maybe wait until next time or something. Like that. I don't know Anyways, donate to the museum. We have another scroll. I think this is number two, right? So there you go. I think that's number two If not, I could always rearrange them later, but yeah skip out on those books at least for right now Golly, I did a lot of reading already. I'll need to do more reading. Uh, I could yeah, oh, man I heckin manage my inventory. I forgot to sell that. Whoops. <laughs> I guess we can go out to Pierre or something like that and uh, try and sell him if he's still open when we go over there. But let's talk to Penny real quick. Are you friends with Linus? He lives in the tent up in the mountains. Yeah, I am. I'm pretty good friends with him, actually. Everyone ignores him, the poor guy. He's actually really nice. Uh, just a little odd, yeah. Aren't we all just a little odd? It must be so cold to live in a tent this time of year. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I'm like, he's, he, he's a nomad, right? Like, he doesn't stay in one spot, but he's stayed here for like almost an entire year now. I didn't read what Jazz just said right there. <laughs> Oh no, mom's making lentil soup tonight. <laughs> Oops. Uh, oh, it's 4 p.m. right. I don't know. Should I go? Uh, you know what? We'll get a little bit of money. I was about to say, do you, do I want to go down to the beach? Because we always have luck finding forging items that are like worms or whatever down here, right? I guess we'll check. Just see if we can find any worms. It's so crazy seeing the beach full of snow. 
Like, you think you'd see, like, maybe the water? Oh, yeah, see, there's worms right there. Cool. I think the water would, like, wash away and then... Another but Four books! Man, next episode is going to be a whole heckin' reading episode. It's going to be crazy. Just like the heckin'... What's it called? Subnautica Below Zero reading episode that I never actually did. <laughs> Whoops. But there's supposed to be, uh... Yeah, there's no other uh, worms around here, so that kind of sucks. It was 4.50 right now. I think Pierre closed at, like, 5 or something like that, right? So... I suppose, uh, I don't know, maybe on the way back home, we could actually just throw all these inside the, uh, inside the base. Inside the, inside the, was it, was it called? The shipping container, I think it's technically called, right? Oh, yeah, then, by the way, wasn't, it was like over here, this house over here, wasn't it this house? Not that one. Was it this one up here? Is this the one that we saw a thing about? I don't know, Let, let's pull that up again. Where's that at? Secret notes. Yeah, that's this house. So you... Is that it? Hold on. Man, I wish I could... Yeah, that's definitely it, because there's like a wheel above the above the door we just saw, like, or like a steering wheel or whatever above the door, so that's what that little X is above the door. And then, it looks like there's a green thing, so do you stand here, and then you do... What is that? Left, up... You know, I should probably write this down. Can I do that? I don't know. Uh, you know what? I could screenshot this. So, whoop, there you go. I just screenshot that. And I pull that up, so I can look at that. I don't know if this is cheating. By, uh, there you go. I don't know if that's recording that, but, uh, so if I stand here where that green square is, I'll have it on the screen for you guys to see for reference. But, hey, Penny, look, look at what I'm about to do. So, left, oh, whoops, left, up, right, up, right, down, left, down, left, down, and that's it? Nothing happened there? Left, up, right, up, right, down, left, down, left, down. And then what's the check mark? What does that mean? Attack? I don't know. I'm confused. What do you do? No, you don't. That doesn't I mean no. I don't know what that means. Man, uh, I'm probably I'm probably going to get someone in the comments tell me what that actually is. Maybe next episode we'll actually figure out what to do with that. Oh hey, look at that. There's uh whatever her name is. I always forget. Jody. <laughs> It would be nice to take a vacation once in a while. I agree. Uh, so let's go over here. I kind of did that with Thanksgiving like a week and a half or something like that ago. And that was very refreshing. Thank you guys very much for letting me do that. So anyways, I guess we'll go over here. Go drop off some of the sea. By the way, yeah, look at this because it's getting darker right now. The, 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 what's it called? The ring light or what's it called? Oh, wow. Look at that owl. Uh, but you're not going, yeah, you're not going to see it here because it's already super well lit over here. But uh, what's it called? The glow ring. That's what it's called. That thing, yeah, I'll sell the trash. I know I'm not going to get money out of it, but at least I'll, uh, I guess I could have put the trash in the trash can. <laughs> Whoops, how do I do that? Why did you know, I guess I have to do it from here. There we go. <laughs> get rid of that trash. But yeah, the Adventures Guild, they're going to be open rather late, so don't have to worry about that. We'll get some money out of them, but yeah, boom. Look at how much that lights it up, you guys. That's crazy good. I probably sh I should have dropped off the mushrooms while out there. Ah, whatever. I, I, like, now that we have the, the, the fully upgraded deluxe backpack or whatever, and by the way, let's check behind the community center. But now we have the upgrade deluxe backpack. It seems like I'm, I'm just more carefree about like inventory management or whatever. I don't think it's that big of a deal, right? But see if there's anything actually behind the community center here. Attacking the thing now. What's this? Is there something? Oh. Wait. Oh, man. That's just that. I thought I actually found something there. There's something actually back here. Yeah, shake, shake the bushes, shake the trees. How do I do? Oh, I can't do it to that tree, I don't think. It's getting pretty late. I don't see anything. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's not It's not letting you hoe the ground or anything like that. So I, I don't know. I'm trying to do, like, every slot over here. Yeah, nothing. nothing's happening there. Man, because there was a thing that I was like, oh, I hit something behind the computer center, right? I think so, but I didn't see anything right there. So, once again, don't know what we're missing out on there, but I don't know. Maybe we'll check it uh, later on. Like, the second half of this episode or something like that, right? But I do want to go over here. I don't know when the... I think they closed, like, what, 10 or 11 or something like that? So they're, they're still open rather late. We can sell them some of our extra trash. We'll go with, do another, like, quick session in the mines. And by the way, yeah, you guys did say that this dungeon over here by the other uh, quarry, that's like one layer. So I could do... I don't know. Maybe we could do that the second half of the episode? I suppose so. Don't want to sell the Templar Blade. Golly. Carving knife? Yeah, that's fine. Small magnet ring. Old, uh, blah, blah, four sword. Yeah, there's a little while when we used the four sword, and then a long while while you, we used the, uh, the insect head. Crystal dagger, use that for maybe half an episode, and then that, and then we picked that up last episode, so boom. Thank you guys all very much for letting me know uh, about all this stuff right here. I guess this is so I could, I could buy it back. 
for the same price that I got money, for, uh, like get a get return the deal or whatever there. So I don't have to pay a premium on top of it. I think that's what that is. Increases the critical strike power by 10%, critical strike chance by 10%, and weapon precision by 10%. Increases knockback by 10%. I think Topaz Ring. That's like the uh, like like like. Let's see, what's it called? The insect head. It does like a big sweeping attack. I guess it would make the sweeping attack smaller and in increases weapon precision by 10%. I guess that's what that does, which is kind of opposite. Maybe that's why you guys said not to use the, uh, to buy the Topaz ring, huh? So either way. Uh, oh yeah, and then you guys also did say, whenever I, I'm in the mines, especially in the layers that I'm in right now, I do want to kill those like little, little black mites or whatever they're called. I do want to kill them because apparently that's part of like the mission. What, it? what do we have luck on? I don't know, let's go to level 65. Maybe we can go down to level uh, 70 or something like that here. But apparently, yeah, those black mite things, apparently have to kill a ton of them for the for one of those guys' missions. So definitely don't want to forget about that, you guys. But we have neutral luck today. Maybe we'll have some good luck actually uh, making progress downwards here. Oh, whoa, boom. Rise, I say that. Nice. And we have a random regular quartz right there. That's not fire quartz. I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone's like screen is like miscalibrated or something like that. And it kind of, I guess it kind of looked right there for a second, but yeah, it's not actual fire quartz, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, see, that kind of has a little bit of a red, red tag. I can kind of see why you guys might have thought, whoever that was, might have thought why that was a fire quartz. But yeah, I think you have to actually be in level 80 or what. Yeah, see, these guys I have to kill these guys. Wow, I found the way down right there from them. But yeah, uh, and another secret. Man, amazing. I don't know what I was talking about just a second ago. Is there anything else around here? Yeah, no ghosts, anything like that. Let's continue going down. We have plenty of time. It's 10 p.m. I don't have the heckin' farm toad, unfortunately, so... Another... Man! That's so heckin' good. We're gonna have to read all those up again. And we found the way down again. Awesome! And uh, so far, no ghosts. I feel like if there were ghosts, they would have been bothering me by now, right? Just iron ore over there. Not crazy about that right now. I'm more crazy about gold ore right now, because we have a lot of iron already. And is there anything else around here? Like, and any, any ores of note? Nope, I don't think so. Okay, so let's just continue going down. It's going to be about 11 p.m. Going down to level 68. Yeah, we're definitely going to go down to level 70, but I don't think we're actually going to get any ghosts right now. I haven't seen any. Seems like they're just barely spawning this deep down. Seems like we had more luck when we went down to, what, level 50 or whatever earlier? Last episode? So that kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, and then, by the way, yeah, last episode we heckin', uh... Was that a bat? It is. Uh, yeah, last episode we did give, what was his name? Like, Mr. Cannoli or whatever. We gave him the sweet gem berry or whatever, and we got ourselves more uh, energy over there, so that's really good. Uh, not too much. I think we, our energy only went up by like 30 or something of that, so incompetent. Wow, we found the way down right there. Is there anything else? I don't know. I'm kind of inclined. Go down to level 69. Get that much closer to level 70 and unlock that elevator, right? So there you go. Killed another... Oh, finally a ghost! Okay, cool. Cool. A little bit of wood right there. Not crazy about that. Boom. Take this guy down. Okay, yeah, it's midnight right now. Definitely want to watch out for that. Keep swiping at this. Boom. We got him, but nope. We got solar essence right there, so that kind of sucks. Man. Ah. Let's keep trying to find our way down here. And trying to find loot and whatever else. Whoa. That's, uh, Topaz? And there's more stuff right there. I think I think that's Topaz, right? It is. Okay, cool. Wow, we have a lot of boxes and stuff. Hopefully we find something good. A little bit of wood, a little bit of iron. We got another one of these slime guys. Cave carrots right there. Quality retaining soil. Nah, eh, can't complain about that. Definitely going to have to, uh... Retain that quality retaining soil until uh springtime would actually be able to use that, right? So let's kill these mite guys, just like I said. Uh oh, perfect. Okay, down to level seven. Oh, whoa, what's that? And there you go, another elevator thing. Master slingshot. Awesome. Okay. You received a ma no, I might actually have to start using these things, you guys. So let's see. Uh requires stones for ammo. That might be really good. I I we have 18. I guess we'll load those in. Boom. Do I want to test them? I'm like, it's 1250 right now. I kind of want to I kind of want to leave. Let's go down to level zero or up to level zero. <laughs> I guess we'll go home and then maybe tomorrow we can come back to the mines. We can test that thing out a little bit more. But look at this. Middle of the night, I usually had to brighten the video during this like walking home from the mines at like 1 a.m. segment. I always had to brighten it for you guys, but I'm not going to have to brighten it anymore. Look at this. It's so visible. There's Holly in the middle of the path right there. I'll grab that. But let's go home now and see if there's any worms on the way home. Because we do have a little bit of time. If I do find worms, I can always hoe the ground and find it. And yeah, I still no luck finding anything about behind the community center, nothing about that weird house. I don't know. I definitely have to keep an eye on the comments if you guys know what in the world I'm supposed to be doing with those things, because that's super confusing. And we do have a, oh wow, the gold is done, cool. I'm like, it better be, right? Golly, it literally smelt it all day. <laughs> but there we go, 150 and the refine. We'll take care of that in the morning. But let's go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Oh my gosh, 150. Yeah, I don't know about our bed being over here. I might, I might, I might switch 
this. I might switch to the bedroom, put it over here, make it easier for me to go to bed. And then maybe I'll move the chests into this room. I don't know, maybe. I'll have to think about that. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I don't, I don't think ever since the house has been upgraded that we've had any problems. Like, oh, I'm falling asleep, like, from the entrance of the house to the bed. I don't think we've had that problem, but at the same time, I don't want to make it a little bit easier on us, right? <laughs> Anyways, day six of winter has started. Let's see what's going to happen. Anything going to happen immediately or nothing? Okay, cool. Which means check the calendar. Yep, nothing today, but there is tomorrow, next episode. And then boom, immediately we can check up on the TV. Cool. Check up on the weather. It is, okay, wow, it's going to snow tomorrow. Cool. And fortune teller. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, what is this? Uh, good humor today. Ooh. Now, does that mean that it's a bad day to go to the mines to try and find enemies, like ghosts, to get ectoplasm? Like, it's Saturday today? So it's the second to the last day to try and get ectoplasm, which apparently I read, com I don't know if it's true, but apparently you can only get ectoplasm during this mission. You can't get it like beforehand or anything like that. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but anyways, get the refined quartz right there. Go put that up over here. And I guess we get, oh, what did I just put up right there? I don't know. Oh, and then yeah, we have two iridium more. We're probably going to have two iridium more for the longest time, guys. It's going to be crazy. Uh, put more stuff up. Yep, boom, there you go. And we have three gold bar. I put that up over here. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was it? Three gold are so we have the we have the sprinklers now, right? Or we can make them. So I just need refined quartz and then iron and then boom. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. The refined because we have oh whoops, I just there you go. So we have three gold ores. So let's get three, and then okay, I'm going to smelt more iron, which means one, two, three, four, five, and then one coal. Boom. Okay, cool. Then we have two secret notes. We we'll have to look at those here in just a minute. But, uh, oh, I forgot to put more stuff inside of the rest. Oh, hey, look at that, more stuff right there. But, uh, iron, let's get that smelting. Boom, perfect. Let's see what's going on in the mail. Uh, I've got an unusual request. Could you keep this a secret? I want you to deliver an amethyst to Emily. It's her favorite stuff. Hey, look at this. I'm like, we already know someone commented saying, yeah, give, give Emily an amethyst. But hey, Clint, you're just straight up telling us that uh, Emily's favorite amethyst, or Emily's favorite stone is amethyst. <laughs> Same thing with Abigail, right? So that's pretty cool. And tell her it's from me, Clint. Okay, you know what? I do have extra amethyst. I can do that. Boom, there you go. Let's do it. I don't, it, I don't It doesn't say how much money you get. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about money right there. But we could be the, the, the personal courier for Clint right here. Even though he doesn't have an actual amethyst, we have to use our own amethyst here. <laughs> but uh, hey, maybe, uh, maybe I'll help him out. Get some relationship points with Emily. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, let's check him on the... Uh, so I have, uh, I can make two sprinklers right now. We have one right there, down there already. Let's check up on the uh, secret notes right now, though. It's Penny's handwriting. I want to get everyone something they love. Mom, parsnip, glazed yams, and no beer. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, doesn't she love beer, though? And uh, by the way, I don't know how long it takes for the heckin' keg over there. I assume as long as the preserving bin. So maybe those will be done, like, next episode or something like that, right? Then jazz, fairy rose, plum pudding. We have fairy roses. Vincent, pink cake, grape. Okay, I do have grapes. Mr. Molnar, I think. Isn't that George? I think early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Molnar and then Granny. And Mo okay, so that's got to be Mo George and uh, Evelyn, right? Leek and then fried mushroom. I wonder how we get fried. I don't think we have the recipe for that. And then beet and then tulip. Okay, cool. So once again, just telling us everyone's favorite items. That's really good. It's a page from someone's diary. Okay, it doesn't say who, but there are only a few older bachelors in town and none of them are perfect. Harvey is really anxious and weak. But I know he would make a loyal and devoted husband. He likes coffee and pickles. Okay, once again, boom. Telling us, hey, he likes coffee, he likes pickles. We can buy coffee from Gus in the saloon. So, hey, maybe we'll go over there, give him a coffee, cup of coffee, and then head to the doctor's office, give him a gift, and get some relationship points with him. Because I know he's he's got to be really... I don't know if we've ever even given him anything that he liked, at least. Maybe I give him, like, berries, and he was, like, okay with it or neutral with it or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Elliot is a bit foppish and melodramatic. But he does have a nice chin. He likes crab cakes and pomegranates. Uh, don't know how to make either one of those, or don't know how to make crab cakes and pomegranates. Don't know how to get that. Shane is messy and antisocial, but I think his gruff exterior is a defense mechanism, insulating his softness from the world. He likes beer, pizza, and pepper poppers. Yeah, we already know about the pepper poppers and straight up uh, chili peppers or whatever, or just straight up peppers or whatever it was that we grew during the summer right so yeah he likes those and he also likes beer as we I'm like kind of figure out but i'm like i don't i don't want to reinforce that negative thing i'm like he had he had a whole like friendship or a heart event where he was like passed out or whatever from beer or was it something else i forget uh and then pizza i guess we can get him pizza or pepper poppers or straight up peppers so that's pretty cool once again those secret notes coming in clutch telling us what we need to give 
to certain people to get a uh, relationship points with them, like actual favorite items and whatnot. Like it's not like trash or anything like that. So that's really cool. So there you go. Just put up a bunch of stuff right there. Quality retaining soil. Uh, and then put that up with the mixed seeds over here. And then snowy M. I thought we had that in the forging. I guess we never put that up over there, did we? So there you go. And then yeah, I definitely want to try out the master slingshot too. Uh, so let's actually water all the stuff over here. And I have random wood. I think yeah, I think yeah, we got the wood from the uh, from the mines, didn't we? I was wondering. I, I thought I put that up, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah, I think we got it from the mines. So I, I don't have to worry about that. Let's water everything over here again real quick. And I guess what we could do is because I think if we place the sprinkler down, it doesn't work until like the beginning of next day. Uh, we could start worrying about or like figuring out where we're going to place down these three other sprinklers, which means we're going to have four of them in total with this quality sprinkler already here. We could probably get rid of this one for right now, this regular one. I don't know. Maybe we'll use that to like fill in gaps or some of that uh, or just not use it at all. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But uh, golly, that iron over there still. That's what I was talking about earlier. Still smelling over there. Golly. Uh, bamboo. Oh, I forgot to sell that, man. Actually, I don't know if I can. Oh, I probably have to sell it to Willy, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then aim with this. We can get that Emily. Where are we going to find Emily right now? Uh, try. Nope, that's Caroline. There we go. Emily, she's down here, isn't she? Yeah, there we go. Emily and Haley. I guess maybe down there or something like that. I'm like, it's Saturday, so maybe they're going to be hanging out down there. I don't know. But, so this one waters like this, so I guess we'll have to get rid of this crop right here that I'm standing on. And then it would water like this. And then we'd have to get rid of this crop right here and then water like this. So that would be pretty good. Hmm. Okay. And then we'd have a row there and a row there. And those would be the only ones that have to manually water, right? And then what we could do is... Oh, look at that. The iron's done. Cool. And I think that's the sound of the keg kind of like bubbling over there. You guys hear that? Uh, but we could also figure out like where we're going to place down the fence. So I guess if anything, if we ever if we have a water right here... Or a sprinkler right here and watering like this. We have a fence like this. And I, I could make the fence right now. Or I could place the fence like all the way to the path right there. I don't know. I might do that. Well, like we already have the sprinklers. We'll worry about that a little bit later, I suppose. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's go check about the chickens. I almost forgot about the chickens. Definitely want to go feed them, get their eggs, get their mayonnaise, all that. Oh, man, they're blocking the way. Hey. Oh. So can you just pet them and then you walk through them or something like that? I don't know. It seemed like that was the case right there. But uh, let's grab their eggs. And the mayonnaise. There you go. Let's pet this chicken. There you go. I think we've pet every chicken here, so that's good. And boom. And where's that? There it is right there. Boom. Okay, cool. Get the four hay. Oh, whoops. That was three. Boom. There you go. Cool. And let's go feed them all for the day. Nice little rhyme right there. Get the four hay and feed them for the day. <laughs> and let's go to the, the, the mushroom cave over here. Go check them on this real quick. I don't know if we ever... Yeah, see, that's just regular common mushroom. It's like we're never going to get anything, like, particularly rare from this. It's always the same, like... Brown mushroom and then like uh, moral and then what was it like the red mushroom and then like one other mushroom. It doesn't seem like there's any special mushrooms that you get, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but let's go over here. Let's go sell all the mayonnaise real quick. Then uh, I guess we'll put up the brown mushrooms because I'm like we still have blackberries here. I I guess we can sell those, get some good money out of them. So that's that's good. Although I I don't know maybe I'll keep the keep some of them. But I'm like we get three times more money. So I don't know. Sell the mayonnaise though. I'll do that. And we'll try and figure out where Emily is right now, I suppose. Uh, but let's just make the sprinklers just so I don't forget about that. So there you go. And then we'll have to save these. Yep, there you go. We'll have to save these until next. Uh, maybe tomorrow or later on this episode or some of that. But for right now, I'll just place them like right here. Just because I'm like, yeah, it's not going to let me actually place it where a plant already is. So I'll just place it like right here. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'll place it here temporarily. And it'll water some of the crops that are like above. There you go. A little bit, you know. Uh, I, I guess we could do it. Man, I don't know where I want to place these temporary sprinklers. I guess I, I'm like, yeah, right here, there is a torch, but yeah, I'll get, I'll just get rid of it. <laughs> there you go. And yeah, that's, that's probably fine right there. And then we'll place another one here, I suppose. There you go. Cool. So we're going to have this water, this water, this water, and this water. So I have to water this, 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 and this, or no, this manually where I was uh, pointing the mouse cursor right there. Okay, not that big of a deal, I suppose. Anyways, let's just go out. I suppose we'll go check up on... Oh, and by the way, I don't know if we can actually go behind the... I don't know if I want to waste any time with that, you know, going behind the community center, trying to find whatever's back there, because I couldn't find anything just a minute ago, but I'm like, we have more time now, so I suppose we go over there and check, right? But, uh, Harvey, I, I don't think the saloon's open just yet, right? I think they close or open at, like, what, three or something? So I don't think we're able to get... Yeah, we're not... Nope. 12. Okay, so we're about to open. We have good luck today or something like that, right? So, makes sense to go through everyone's trash cans. <laughs> but, uh, let's go get him a cup of coffee, because now we know it is his favorite thing. 
just straight up cut. Oh, whoa. That broken glasses again. Okay. He's getting more uh, refined quartz or whatever right there. But uh, Gus, I know you're just open. Oh, wait. Oh, he's all the way back. I was about to say. <laughs> I know you're just open, but he's not there, but he hasn't even come out yet. Golly. Let's go check him on him. Let's see what he has to say. Hey there. How you doing? Good evening. What? It's literally noon. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Yeah. Uh, I guess you have to actually be behind the counter to actually buy something from him, but if the coffee isn't too expensive, I'll buy it. Because I'm like, I know I can make coffee myself. And I think you guys did. I can make a, I can buy an espresso, like, what is it called? Like, 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 recipe from him too, right? Yeah, triple, golly. So I can buy a pizza recipe, which is wheat flour, tomato, cheese. I can make pizza at home, hash browns, oil and potatoes. Okay, coffee's three, that's not bad. We could, we have 18,000, golly, we could do that. Yeah, get that for Harvey. Then, uh, maybe I'll get one for myself. The triple shot espresso for the recipe for 5,000. I'm kind of, I don't know. And then, how do, how do you make regular coffee, though? Because yeah, I have coffee beans. I don't know what to do with that at this point, but... Maybe I'll buy that for 5,000. And then Pepper Poppers, I can buy that and give them the chain. If he has nine of those, I guess I sold those to him or something, huh? So we'd be, we'd be spending 1,200 right here and then another 5,000 right here to try and make one espresso at home. And then maybe we could use that in the mines or something like that. That'd be pretty good, I suppose. Hmm. Let's do let's do that right now. We can test it out, and we'll buy the triple shot of spro Jeez. And we still have a lot of money right now. Golly. I guess maybe in the long one, long run, he'll like or uh, it'll pay off or some of that. I don't know. And then pizza for one fifty. I guess we'll do that. Get these recipes. We have money. Might as well get the recipes. And and we have the kitchen too, so it makes sense. It definitely makes sense to at least get those recipes I got one, right? Anyways, Emily, I guess we'll try and find her. I don't know if she's going to be down at the house where she lives in or over here at Pierre's trying to buy something or because that's Abby. I, I could give her an amethyst right now, but I don't know if uh, Emily's over here. Oh, yeah. And let's check up on the doc because I think the doctor's office closes relatively early, right? Like two or maybe like new. I don't know. Let's see. Where... OK, there you go. Uh, where in the world is Harvey that I've like almost never been. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's not even here. <laughs> You're not good enough friends with Harvey to enter his bedroom. I don't know. Is he in his bedroom right now? I don't know. Uh, I think Maru also works there, right? Yeah, 3 p.m. is when they close. He's not even here. So what if I had like a broken leg? He's not even here to fix it. Man, <laughs> Maybe he's out to lunch or something like that right now. It's 1.30. So that would make sense. Hey, look at another shame. Yeah, I don't have a pepper pot. I could have bought one right there, but whatever. Let's go over here. Let's go. Hey, and there's Evelyn right there. All right, you know, let's talk to her. Casually just talk to her. We've lived here for over 30 years. Wow. Golly. We've seen a lot of people come and go. Your grandfather, for one. Bless him. Uh, yeah, bless him. Anyways, I heard someone open up a... Oh, wait, no, it's just Jody right there. Man, I thought someone... I thought, I thought Emily was coming out of the house right there. Oh, wait, what is this? It's an Emily friendship event. With her, like, sleeping in bed and me, like, creepily watching or whatever from above the house. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, in her dream. And she's just kind of floating there meditating in like some like palm tree paradise. Why wah? Why wah? And then I just appear out of the heck and clap. <laughs> she's so shocked. <laughs> what in the world is this? Why are you here? I don't know why I'm here. I just kind of appeared here, Emily. <laughs> Jeez, I'm as confused as you are. I don't even know where this is. Oh, there's rainbows. What in the world? What are those? Just rainbow streaks across the screen right there. You see that, Emily? Dot, dot, dot. I know my words exactly. That reminded me of something. What the neon cat? Even the tiniest, blandest, simplest light holds a wonderful secret. What does that even mean? Now I know why you're here. It's a sign. Ha <laughs> ha uh, ha. I'm as confused as my in-game character. And then I just disappear. Okay. Then she spins around and wonders what in the world happened to me. I guess you don't really know why I'm here, huh? <laughs> Jeez. What is this whole segment about? I'm so confused. I went into there, got confused, and I'm leaving even more confused than I went into there. And then as she woke up, and now, what is she doing? Waffle, there's something special about Waffle. Yeah, I know, I'm here to give you an amethyst. I'm on behalf of Clint, our destinies will intersect. <gasps> is she predicting that I'm going to marry her? She's going to jump to the top of my list 
Where is she right now? And then, uh, yeah, where? Yeah, she's only too hard. What? She's she's being like, oh, our destinies will connect or whatever. She just said. <laughs> I literally just read it out loud. And then now she's like two hearts. She thinks we're going to get like married or whatever right there. Golly, she doesn't know about Penny, Shane, Robin, Leah. Linus is even above her, Abigail. <laughs> but uh, let's give her a thing. I, I hope this works for uh, Clint's thing. It doesn't it done actually act as a gift for me, though, right? So hold, hold on. Let me, re let me read it again really quick. Clint wants you to give Emily an amethyst. He wants you to tell her it's from. Okay, so does this actually work here? Oh, my favorite stone. You're so sweet. Huh? It's from who? Okay, so it looked like it worked right there. Okay, cool. Oh, you got it at Clint's? Oh, well, I don't care where you got it from. It's beautiful. Thank you. Well, there you go. Hopefully we got some friendship points right there. Maybe our destinies were uh, to intersect or whatever. She just said, I don't know. <laughs> Literally like 30 seconds ago, completely forgot about what I actually just straight up read. <laughs> but there you go. Got a little smooch right there on behalf of Clint. A uh, little bit of an advertisement right there. But uh, I'm like, I lied to her face. It wasn't from Clint. It was from my own personal collection of like 10 amethysts. But still. At least we got some uh, friendship points with her, right? Where is she at? Yeah, she's at three hearts right now. Cool. So now we know in the future to get. Oh, what in the world? Oh, that's a what? Oh, okay, that's like a thing. Yeah, I'm like, it makes sense. Yeah, bears knowledge. So we have that in the background now where we get the three times money from berries. So that's really cool. I didn't t put two and two together till now. Bears knowledge. Berry. Like pricing. Bear. Berry. <laughs> Stupid. I don't even know if that's actually what it's supposed to be, but uh, the clinic does close like really quickly. Now we have that mission done. I still don't know what to do with that, like the entrance to that house right there where we have to like look left, look right, up, down, all the guns. Up. I don't know what to do about that, but I do want to go up here to Clint or uh, Harvey, give him a coffee. Where's he at right now? He's actually like straight up just gone. Just abandoned his whole entire like clinic over here. Just forgetting about all the guests with their arms chopped off. And like basically on the, the brink of death, he's just like, oh, I'm out to lunch. Uh. <laughs> Closing in 30 minutes. Golly. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, is there anything else I want to do real quick? I'll go home and make the, the, the thing, I guess. I don't know. I might get rid of that, but at the same time, I could use it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go behind the community center. I might just spend the rest of the episode in the mines trying to trying to kill ghosts and maybe trying to get even deeper. I'm like, we're at 70 right now. We could probably make it down to level 80. And then next episode, we can start finding fire courts or, you know, hopefully finding fire courts, right? I believe so. Uh, was there something I wanted to sell here? I do not think so. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's go inside. We should be able to make a triple shot espresso now, right? Over here at the uh, the countertop. Where is that going to be? There it is. Triple shot espresso. So we're going to get more energy, more uh, more health, and more importantly, more speed. And not just speed, because we get speed from the coffee. Apparently, it's supposed to last for, last for quite a while. And I assume it lasts for longer than just three coffees back to back to back on their own. So... That should be pretty valuable, you guys. Uh, is there anything? I guess put up the mushrooms for right now. There you go. And the sprinkler. I don't know. I'll put that up over here, I suppose. Like, what in the world am I going to do with a heckin' random junk sprinkler? A regular sprinkler like that. Let's put this uh, triple shot. Let's put that down there. There you go. And then, yeah, we can try out the... Uh, so how's this actually work? I, I, I guess we'll try it again real quick. Let's see. Oh, you can kind of aim right... Oh, whoa, oh! Does it have better distance or something like that? I don't know. So if we have a ghost fighting us, I guess we can... Do that against him, I suppose. Oh, and by the way, yeah, because we have the triple, we're going out a little bit of speed. If we go, if we leave the mines at like 150, or like, not 150, but maybe like 120, 130, you know, some time that would be guaranteed for us to pass out before we get home. Maybe we leave a little bit later, but because we have the extra speed, we could actually make it home in time before we pass out, right? Oh, speaking of making it, if, oh, never mind. I'm stopped because I found worms. Yep. And a rusty spoon. What the? Is that another artifact? Hey, there's Alex right there. Uh, God. There, yeah, it is an artifact. Cool. Because so we have to go to the museum next episode, as well as not only just to donate that, but to read, like, what, four books or something crazy? <laughs> oh, there's worms up there. You know what? I'll do that. Let's go up there. Let's go grab the worms. I know I'm going to forget about them. It's in a very, like, a hidden spot. I'm not going to remember to go up there and check again, right? So, let's see. So, what this is. Hopefully, it's going to go. Oh, whoa. An ancient sword. Whoa. That's actually pretty. So we found like an ancient spoon or whatever. No, a rusty spoon and an ancient sword. Both things that Gunther can tell us more about. But we can read about it right now. So uh, we don't need Gunther, do we? <laughs> a plain old spoon. Probably 10 years old. Not very interesting. Okay, it's not like ancient or anything like that. But this is an ancient sword. Ugh. It's the remains of an ancient sword. Most of the blade has turned to rust. But the hilt is very finely crafted. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those like crazy. Well, oh man, Abigail's playing her flute or whatever right there. Cool. But I don't know if you guys have ever seen like those like knife restoration videos on YouTube. They're kind of crazy, but like at the same time, super satisfying to watch. Uh, I wonder what that guy could do with a heckin' rusty sword like that one I just picked up. But let's go down with a slingshot. Oh, jeez. Uh, if we if we have a ghost or whatever chasing after us, definitely want to try out that slingshot because he is a ranged. Or not really, he's not ranged, but he, he, he flies away from us and stuff like that, right? So makes it a little bit harder for us to keep up with him. But yeah, the environment did change. More cave carrots right there. As you can see, it's, it's kind of like an ice dungeon or something like that right now. So that's kind of cool, honestly. And it kind of ends right here. Okay, well, I guess we'll just start. I'm like, we have good luck today, right? So we should find our way down rather quickly. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I don't know if I... Oh, yep, there you go, boom. Uh, I was trying to say it a minute ago, but I guess I stumbled over myself like a billion times, got super distracted. <laughs> Because you guys said last episode, the, the dungeon that's over here by the quarry, apparently it's only like one level or something like that, so we should be able to do that in one run. Maybe we'll save that for next episode. I might have already said that earlier, but uh, just wanted to make sure. Oh, man, there's a slime up here. Let's kill this guy. Oh, what, what in the world? Why do I like, suddenly face downwards right there? That was kind of crazy. <laughs> Let's get rid of the crystal right there to kind of clean out the path a little bit. As there's like heckin' shackles on the wall over here for some reason. Who was shackled up to the wall over here? I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> But let's keep going around, see if we can find anything else. I don't know if there's like an ice diglet inside of there, but so far no ghost. Oh wait, yeah, hold on, hold on. Didn't ghosts? Yeah, ghosts stop spawning on level 69. Okay. Well, I, I, I guess we can make it to level like 75 or something like that, and then we'll leave. Wow, we're fine quartz right there. Uh, then we'll leave once we get to level 75. We're at 72 right now, so we're already pretty, cr pretty close. And we have a uh, pretty good luck today, good humor or whatever. So, yep, boom, should be able to find the way down relatively quickly. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Now we finally find the skeletons, you guys. Hold on. So does it make sense for us to use the uh, the, the thing against these? And we got bone fragments right there. Cool. So is it, does it actually work like this? I didn't do anything. What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that worked. Hold on. Get these guys with the heckin' slingshot. I don't know. I'm like, I'm doing damage. 20 damage. 17, 9. I just, and then, yeah, boom, 28, 36, etc., etc. Golly, just doing insane amounts of damage with the heckin' Tempest Sword or whatever right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it makes sense to use the heckin' Slingshot. Maybe you guys are right, even though it is a Master Slingshot, it's supposed to be, like, really good or whatever. And by the way, I don't know if that, yeah, I think that's it for this. 73, so we're at 74, all right, wow, nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I might just stick to using the heckin' Sword over here, guys, but at least we have the option of using ranged if we want to, right? So that's really good. Uh, then I guess, if anything, it is eight, uh, whatever. L let's, let's get the triple shot espresso. Let's get that going. Let's see, how long is that going to last? Let's say four minutes. Hey, that's not bad. Frozen geoder or a uh, frozen tier right there. Nice. Kill this guy. I don't know if we attack any faster because of heckin' uh, oh, wow, we got another secret note. Cool. I don't know how many secret notes we have left, by the way. Like, we keep getting them, like, back. But I, it feels like, I feel like it's an, a winter-only event, like a thing to kind of, like, oh, what's this? Uh-oh. But yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a winter-only event to kind of give you more stuff to do during the winter time exclusively, right? So I feel like that's what that is. And I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, there's nothing else down there. So let's leave. Boom. Level 75 already. Cool. Okay, let's leave. Go down to level 50. I think we had luck with 50, right? So there you go. Go down. And then here we are. Any ghosts down here? Uh, no bats, though. Uh, and, and of course, yeah. Oh, wow. We killed two of them right there. Yeah, wow. The... the, the like cone shape or whatever attack of the sword was able to kill both bats right there even though they're like to the right and to the left of me it was crazy how wide apart they were and we we're still able to kill both of them right there it was crazy either way uh let's keep breaking the rocks over here i'm getting like stumbled all over the place here oh wow already found the way down right there cool uh oh yeah i was about to say uh we do need to kill those little little little, little coal guy what is this by the way what is that he's got like a thing on his head like a star on his head or something whoa Oh, we had a glow ring. We have another glow ring, you guys. Cool. Okay. But so far, no ghost. So 10 p.m. I don't know. I guess I'll kill the slimes and stuff. Now, oh, there you go. Kill the bat. I, I just don't know. And then, I, I, yeah, I guess I, just, I guess we'll just go down this. I was going to say, like, are we closer to going to the... Oh, there you go. We got a ghost. Cool. And what levels? Oh, yeah. We have those little guys down there. And then we have a ghost. And then a gold bar right there. Really valuable. We can make another sprinkler, you guys. Uh, didn't get ectoplasm right there, unfortunately. So that sucks. Man, a lot of iron up there, though. We can definitely get that here in just a minute. Uh, it's going to... Uh, that's two hits right there to break it with a pickaxe. But they're all, like, right next to each other. So it does make sense to grab that, right? Keep killing these guys. Kind of want to go check the uh, the Adventurer's Guild if we have time. I don't know if we will because we're going to be closed, like, in ten minutes. <laughs> But, uh, I, I want to see what our progress is in getting all those little, little 
like like coal guys, little, little dust mites or whatever they're called. There you go. Uh, oh wow, there's already way down right there. I, I might just take that if I don't see a ghost here, which I am not seeing one right now. Oh wait, no, there is one right there. Okay, so hold on, let's see how the slingshot does against the ghost. Nope, didn't hit anything. Oh, we hit him right there though, that's good. We got him again. Ah. Uh, Ah, man. Doesn't have the best range, but... Yeah, you know what? Let's get him with, let's just get him with a sword or whatever. We're, we're doing more damage, and we're getting hit by the bat right there, too. Uh, but... Oh, man, didn't even hit... What? Then he hits me, and then he teleports away. There we go. Ah, oh, solar essence. Ah, eh, whatever. Not that big of a deal. 1150. Let's go here, and then... Let's go back down to, like, level 50 or whatever. There we go. Level 50, go back down. And... At one something, I'm going to be leaving. I'm not seeing any ghosts. Okay, oh, whoa. Oh yeah, you have to go to you have to go to level zero or whatever, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, do this, and then go back up. Yeah, leave the mine, and then go back to level fifty, or you know what? Let's go to fifty-five. Yeah, there you go. Which one is this one? Does one have any ghosts? Uh, bats and little map mite guys down there. I'm not crazy about killing those. I'm more crazy about killing the ghosts. So forget about that. <laughs> go down to level fifty again. Fifty-one. Twelve twenty right now. Any ghosts? Wow, there's a lot of these guys, but we can go down to the next layer if we want, but. I think I'm going to do that real quick. Hold on, let's do it. Ghosts? Yes! Okay, ghost. 1240. Hold on, let's try and kill this guy. It's, it's a very long, narrow uh, pathway right here, which is good. Let's try and lure the ghost this away. And we can hit him. There you go, cool. And we can hit him again. There you go. Oh, man, a solar red. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to leave right now. It's 1, it's 1 a.m. Even though we can we could probably stay for a little bit longer with the extra speed that we have. That's uh, 49 more seconds. I guess if anything, it's, it's a pretty good myth bus. So we're leaving at 1 p.m. right or 1 a.m. right now. It's supposed to take like an hour to get home, but when we have espresso in our veins, <laughs> we're moving a little bit faster. Are we going to get home at like maybe 1.30, 1.00, eh, not 1.30, maybe like 1.40, 1.50. I think we're going to get to the farm at 1.40 and then inside of our house at 1.50, which I guess is just 10 minutes quicker, right? And we're in the farm at 1.30. Um, we're doing a little bit quicker than I thought. 140 right now, maybe on the- Oh, whoa! There's something done right there! What is that? Is that the beer? Is that the, the, the thing for pay? If it is, we're going to have to do that next episode, you guys. Yeah, in bed at 150 after leaving the mines with espresso still active up there for 40 or more. So, oh, golly. Can I still sleep right now? I guess so. <laughs> so we got espresso in my veins. Let's go to bed for the night, I suppose, right? Boom! Level 6 mining. Ooh, we can actually make a bomb now. <laughs> and uh, level 6 combat, too. New crafting recipe for a slime egg press. And then, uh, oil of garlic and five more uh, HP right there. Cool. And we got, yeah, we got more money. Yeah, this is kind of a common thing. We got used to it by now. About $1,000 every day from all the mayonnaise, which I'm not going to complain about one bit. But we do have, what is it, like craft beers? Uh, what is it called? Something up there. I forgot what it was. Uh, pale ale. I think that's what it's called up there. We have pale ale done and probably wine done here in just a minute as well if we go up there and check. Because we made, we got those done like back to back. Oh, what was this? Pierre. Hello there, Waffle. So, your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Okay, cool. So maybe that's how we're going to get, like, what, cran not, not cranberry, but was it pomegranate and some other stuff? Because I think there's, like, one thing, like turnips or something like that. I think you guys said I have to wait until, like, the desert or something like that to get those. But it seems like this is, yeah, how we're going to get those other random items, I suppose, right? So that's cool. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. All right, that's pretty cool that he came here in person to tell us that instead of just writing a letter. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor seeds. I haven't even tried them. I think they're even more expensive, too, so no reason to try them, Pierre. <laughs> Pierre's seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere, and that's a promise. All right. Yeah, we, we, I don't think we've ever bought any seeds from JoJo, but maybe like once or something like that, whenever he was like closed on Wednesday or whatever. But uh, other than that, I don't think we had to worry. Uh, I don't think we ever bought anything from him, right? Anyways, Waffle, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon. Emily, new cooking recipe salad. Is she telling me something there? Is she telling me I need to start eating salads? <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Dear Waffle, uh, tomorrow we're all gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. Ooh. So were they like making a giant ice rink in that little like forest below Marnie's house or something crazy down there? I don't know. It's a celebration of winter. There will be snowmen, ice sculptures, and an ice fishing competition. Oh, okay, that's cool. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to participate. Okay, yeah. Definitely want to remember this, you guys. Next episode, 
9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We should definitely do that because our farm is super duper easy. And now it's like even more like automatic watering than beforehand. You guys can barely see it, but these are watered. These are watered and these are watered now, as well as all these right here. So uh, all I have to water now is just this little row right here, that one right there, then this row and this row. That's all I have to actually water right now. So that's really cool. But if you go up here, this should be the pale ale, right? Yep, boom, pale ale. And then we have more, uh, what is that right there? Ma not maple syrup, right? Oh, it is maple syrup. Okay, cool. And not down there. Yeah, those aren't done down there, but that's really cool. We got more maple syrup. Uh, I don't know if we can give more of them to the bear and get some random stuff out of him, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? And then, yeah, uh, let's see. So that was indeed pale ale, right? There, yep, there it is right there. So next episode, definitely want to give Pam, even though I know Penny probably won't like it, Pam is hankering for a pale ale. Regular old beer won't do. You can brew one yourself if you have hops in a keg. Yep, we just did that and we got a pale ale, so need to go deliver that to her now. I don't know when we got this mission, like in the spring or something crazy. So nine months later, Pam, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not too late, right? <laughs> then uh, let's see to the bottom. Yeah, I'm like we're at level 70 now, right? So we're making a little bit of progress there. I think it ends at 120, you guys said. Catch a squid. That's probably going to be a while. Mayor Shorts probably not going to do anything with that until next year, right? <laughs> Even though we literally have his shorts right now. We'll worry about that some other time. And then we have some, some random trash in our inventory to take care of, right? But we'll worry about that next episode. Secret note. We have one secret note. I guess, I don't know. I feel like because I, because the game saved and if I open this, like if I open the secret note, is it going to say something now? And then if I open it again at the beginning of next episode, is it going to say something different? I don't know. I kind of want to save it until next episode just because I don't, I don't want to have any spoilers of seeing something right now that it's something different next episode, uh, which by the way, I am curious. I mentioned it just a minute ago. How many secrets do we have? Okay, so we have two. Well, we have one right now in our inventory, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 more. And I think we had 25 here. So we're almost at the halfway mark here, you guys. Jeez, 12 letters, 12 secret notes already found. Probably like half of which are just saying, okay, this person likes this, this person likes that, it's like favorite things here. And uh, still don't know what to do about that. Weird thing at uh, whoever's house that, what house that was. And then this one right here, I hid something behind the community center. I was I was back there, I didn't know what to find. I hoed the ground, I, I shook the bushes. I. Didn't see anything back there physically. Maybe the snow's covering it up or something. I don't know, but maybe next episode, maybe I'll read comments and you guys will uh, shed light on that as well as this right here. And we'll figure out what to do with those next episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, Thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Whoa!